Watch her get another shark drop. Just watch it happen. Another shark drop. What? Yes! Oh my god, yes! What? Yes! Fuck yes! Yes! Fuck yes! God damn, we are out of here! Yes! So the next thing I wanted to work on after getting my Kraken Tentacle was to start getting my Fury. After that, it was going to be time to head to Bandos, but there was a lot of work to do. So here comes the first runecrafting level, coming out of the Fury grind. And there we are. Boom, 65 runecrafting. We can now craft death runes. Not really ever gonna craft those, but that's great. That is great. So in total, I've made, I think we're up to maybe like 6,000? Oh, 8,000 cosmic, damn. I wasn't even looking how fast I was going. So fast, so fast. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna keep grinding on this until we have uh, about 30k cosmics. And then we'll be done with the runecrafting grind. There we go, coming in with 66 room crafting. Definitely gonna be continuing on the grind. We're not yet at 30,000 runes yet. Getting really close though, we're just over 20k, I believe. And we're about, we're about seven hours in to the room crafting grind, or thereabouts. A little bit under, probably about like six and a half hours, I would say. We're just over 20k runes. Mmm, 67 room crafting. Nearly 1900 total, just one level off. And uh, this is going to finish up my runecrafting grind for now. I have over 30,000 essence. So we're going to start doing the uh, the orbs and battle staves today. This is, uh, this is actually day two of the uh, of the grind for 85 crafting. Uh, I got to start rearranging my bank again. But yeah, as you can see, I've got plenty of battle staves chilling right here. Lots of orbs ready to go to get charged. So the idea today is to... Um, to get done with all these buckets of sand here and seaweed, get them turned into more molten glass, blow all the molten glass into the orbs I need, and then start making uh, unpowered orbs into air orbs. And hopefully we'll get through about like half the air orbs today. Uh, maybe you make about four or 5,000 air orbs. I don't know how many air orbs you can make in an hour, but the idea is to, I wanna try and get half of them done today and the other half done tomorrow. Uh, and then should be able to finish up turning them all into, uh, into stabs. Uh, and alking them over the course of the day after that. So this is pretty much the uh, the life of crafting on an Iron Man. You spend your time super glass making in a bank for hours until you can uh, until you can charge your orbs. Basically, just sit here super glass making making the, making the molten glass, and then you blow it all into orbs, just like uh, just like these ones I've got here, these unpowered orbs. Then you gotta go charge them. So that's why I spent so much time making all those cosmic runes. Um, it's three cosmic runes for every orb you wanna charge. So for 99 crafting, uh, if I ever feel like getting that, it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be like a little over 300,000 cosmic runes, which is, I think, 100, and, it's like 150,000 essence for doubles or whatever, but it's a little bit less. So I think it's, I think it's like 140,000. That's probably how much essence I'll need to turn into cosmics, which will get me a, around 77 room crafting. Basically, if I bank 77 room crafting and cosmic runes, then uh, that's what I'm going to need for 99 crafting. So, of course, that's a good that's a good point to go off of because from there I can go to blood runes uh, and then do blood runes until double astrals and then double astrals um, until I can make uh, soul runes. Don't think I'll really bother with double natures. Uh, most people, when they get 91, they go to double natures. But for Iron Man, it's a little different. You don't really need it. You can take the soul runes and you can sell them uh, to help fund your 99 smithing or 99 construction. Because it gives you so much money. 80 crafting coming in and 1900 total. Good stuff right there. And good progress. I don't have to boost up for Dragonstone Amies anymore, which is really, really nice. Would have been helpful if I did that before I made like 100 of them. But there we are. 80 crafting, first level of many on the 85 crafting grind. We have finished all the unpowered orbs that I need to make in my banks. We are out of molten glass. Good stuff, no more sand. 
So now I have 9,000 orbs I need to start charging. So we're gonna, we're gonna bank that stuff. I'm gonna pick up my pet, because we have to journey into the wilderness now. Go forth into a, into a dangerous world. Uh, yeah, let's release that. Let's grab one of these. Uh, we need to get the Graceful out of here. What else do we need? We need to get 81 Cosmic Runes. That's for sure. Well, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to move some things around in my bank, actually. Uh, we're gonna move the Cosmic Runes. So let's swamp my Iron Man chest plate with that. We'll move that here. Put that right next to the orbs. Uh, we will swap the orbs for these ones. So we'll put the orbs right there. And I think this should be all we need, right? To run back and forth with. Should be it. Uh, I would like to put my glories there as well. And my super energies. So we'll swap these for the glories. Put those there. And we need to put something in place of my super energies. We'll put bandos bracers. If that works for me. Chuck those in there. And this is looking good. We need to put one more thing in this tab. So I'll put a um I'll put a stamina pot here. And now we can have all these like right here. Great. Great, 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 great. So we can do like uh withdraw 8181 and then some of these, some of those. And it'll be real good. Uh we need to get an air staff though. Air staff as well. Get this all equipped. And then it should just be withdraw a bunch of these, right? Oh, there we go. Boom. And we are ready to run. And much running we shall do. Much running. Much, much, much running. I'm going to try and charge these manually, I think. Oh, we're still on Lunars. Well, that's a problem. We need to get, go get off Lunars real quick here. I almost went to the altar. And then I went to check. I was like, wait a minute. Aren't I on Lunars? So let's go get off Lunars real quick here. All right, so I am I'm manually charging orbs using the uh, using the three tick method. So I have to do this for nine thousand orbs, which is pretty. Uh, I think awful is a pretty good word for it. <laughs> it's uh, it's a lot grindier than the room crafting. It takes forever. I was able to knock out the majority of the uh, the cosmic runes in one day that I needed, but this is definitely going to take uh, two, maybe even three days. To get all the orbs made. I think um I think putting the uh the orbs on the stabs is probably only gonna take a day, even for nine thousand, to uh to like to buy nine thousand battle salves and put the uh put the orbs on them. I wanna make all the orbs before I bother buying the battle staffs, because that way I can just, you know, I can just quickly get things done. It'd be nice to do things quickly. Won't have to worry about things too much. But yeah, it saves a good little bit of time to three tick the orbs like this. Basically, you just wait till the um, the circle here is extended out fully. Like that. And then you can cast. And you'll cast with three ticks instead of the, the normal make all. Make all takes forever. I don't know how long it is, but it takes a really, really long time. <clears throat> so we're just going to go ahead and grab one of these bank. Store the super energies. Chuck them back at the bank. One more of those, and let's go. And this is pretty much what I'm going to be doing for, oh, the next day or two. All right, so I am on my third day of the Fury Grind today. Started today with about 2,700 orbs in the bank. Um, today's my first day. I'm, I'm starting classes, so I have a network security class. I have to take two days a week. Uh, it's three-hour sessions from 6 to 9 p.m., so I have to kind of, like, sh cut my playtime short. On Tuesdays and Thursdays um, so I'm starting off really early today the idea is I'm gonna try to get 37 or 3500 orbs rather finished in about seven hours today hopefully we'll see what happens though but yeah this grind is a uh, this grind is immense I want to have it done in the next couple days never have to think about this until I go for 93 or 87 for the amulets but yeah I don't I don't want to think about this I don't want to think about it, I just want to get it done. Alright, so this is the last run I'm getting to do today before I have to go to class. I might do some later tonight. This is the most I'm going to do right now. So we're now at 6,564 air orbs. The number we need is 8,487, so not too bad. 
Uh, assuming we're doing about 500 an hour, that's going to be four more hours of running orbs, and then we are done, baby. We are done. Well, besides attaching them to battle staffs. But uh, that won't be too bad, hopefully. So here goes the last inventory of unpowered orbs I got to do. It's been a three-day grind uh, making and charging all these orbs. It's kind of awful. Kind of awful, I got to say. Um, definitely not looking forward to doing this again for 93. Or 99 if I eventually decide to get that. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. But I am very happy to be done with this orb grind. And boom, there we are. 8,500. I only need 8,487 of these for 85 crafting. But uh, now comes the fun part. Attach all these to battle staffs. Hey, there we go. 81 crafting coming in. The first of many levels, hopefully. 1902 total. Going to keep on trucking. 82 crafting coming in. Got a pretty long grind to go to 85. Probably the uh, the worst part about all this is buying the battle staffs. Uh, it's actually about as slow as buying, or not buying, it's about as slow as charging the orbs. Uh, you hit the login timer and stuff. So I have to go run to the lunar shop, buy the staffs, bank them here, do that over and over and over again. And then make the staffs when I hit the login timer. And then eventually I have to take these and we're going to go agility alc them. So I have to continually do this until we hit 85. But it shouldn't take too long. It should maybe take me another day of grinding or so. And once we hit 85, of course, we'll have that fury. So in the end, it's all worth it. Uh, and here's a late night 83 crafting coming in. I say this grind is pretty terrible. But it will be over soon. So this is my first recording session back after going on vacation. I went to go to visit my family for a few days up in Michigan, so no RS gains for a few days. But that is just fine, because I've got 85 crafting now. So I can finally make my amulet of fury, uh, after boosting, of course. So, I'm going to get a ton of money from these battle staffs. So what's my plan for all the money? Well, I should have around 27 million gold at the end, and I'll be spending about 15 mil of that buying ores for 86 smithing for the Wildy and RD Elite Diaries. And, uh, yeah, so for the other 10 mil, or 12 mil, I think I'm probably just gonna spend that on blackjack and hookers. Nah, I'm just kidding. It's gonna go towards funding my kingdom for herbs. Uh, it's pretty important if I ever want to get 85, let alone 99. Of course, that's not gonna take up all the money. It's only gonna take up a couple hundred K at a time. So the rest of it's probably gonna get spent on construction. Hopefully, they'll finish the construction update they've been talking about. And I'll have some use to train it past 70 right now. 70 construction's all I need for the Dead or Elite Diaries. Of course, I'll also use some of the money to keep buying even more battle staves. Because once you have a big cash stack, you can start buying the daily battle staves. That makes crafting much, much nicer. It's also a big reason I want to get my Varric Elite Diaries done. I only have the Varric Hard done at the moment, so I can only buy 60 battle staves a day. I'd love to get up to that 120, and that'll just make things so much nicer. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next clip. I just made myself some Dragon Darts in the Bed of Benaria. I got 90 fletching uh, a while ago. And I managed to get a plus 5 boost while I was going for the plus 5 for my Fury. So went ahead and just popped on out here and made these. It was a bit of an annoying journey, but yeah, we're going to go back and finish up getting that plus 5 boost. Unfortunately, I got another negative boost. Oh yeah, we got the plus 5 boost, baby. I got 90 crafting. So I need to get on out of here and drop this in a furnace. Fortunately, we're in Edgeville, so there's one right outside. I can find the stairs. There it is. Get my ass out of here. Gotta remember to log out if I hit the timer. Just magically phasing through doors there. No big deal. All right. Quickly run over here. Use the onyx on the furnace. Nothing interesting happens. Oh, no, no. I don't use the onyx. I'm an idiot. Uh, I gotta roll up. Use the gold bar. I am super dumb. Yeah, there we go. Make one onyx amulet. Unstrung. Boom. String it. There we go. Onyx amulet. Ready to be made. We do have to enchant it. And boom. There it is. Amulet of Fury. Oh, man. That is a good feeling. That is a good feeling. That is five days of work right there. Like, like, okay, like, you guys want to see what this, the amount of work for, like, look, look at the difference of these stats. 
It's so, so, so minor, but it's so much work. I mean, it's important because, you know, I need it for dire requirements. I need the gold for the smithing levels, but still, look at this. The difference is nothing, nothing offensively other than the strength bonus. The strength bonus is, you know, two strength bonus matters. You're, you're going to hit more, but it's literally just this defense bonus. Look at this defense bonus. That is so huge. The prayer bonus is very minor. Very minor. It's the defense bonus. It's huge. A huge defense bonus. So yeah, this is gonna this is gonna be great for bossing. This is gonna help me out so much at Bandos. I mean, I'm I'm pretty much geared up and ready to roll on Bandos. I mean if we if we take a look, we got the Abyssal Tentacle hiding out up here. I mean I've got the I've got the Carols, I've got the Varax, I've got the Serpelm. I mean, I even, I've even got a DFS. I mean, if we take the DFS out of here, I mean, check this, check this getup out. Tell me, you know, tell me I don't look ready to rock and roll at Bandos. I mean, look at this shit. You know, I am decked out right now. It's just, oh man, good looking. That is good looking. That's what that is. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that episode. I know there's been a lot of skilling and grinding in all these episodes here, but in the next episode, you're going to see tons of PVM. I've got a lot of bandos coming up for you in the next episode. Maybe two episodes. I don't know how long they're going to be. I might have to spread it out between two episodes, but it should be a good time if you guys enjoy some bossing content. That'll be good for you. Go ahead and check out the previous videos if you haven't watched them. And of course, I'm live six days a week over on Twitch TV. Other than that, that's pretty much it for this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you for the next one.